Hello wonderful people and welcome to the channel. In today's video I'll show you one of the pieces I created around Christmas. And although Christmas is gone, I'm still painting on wood and I enjoy it. In case you are curious what you need to paint on with watercolor and gouache on wood, I'll link a tutorial that I created last year. This time I was gifted some of these cute wooden tags from a friend. They were blank and gave me the great opportunity to try th something new. I also like the shape of them um, a lot because they look like Christmas ornaments. Before I started painting I covered them in a layer of ink. Indeed I tried several inks from, from Rohan Klinger as backgrounds and a walnut stain. The walnut stain is actually what is used on the piece that is painted in this video. That was the color that I liked a lot, um, actually the most as a background. Why I painted a moth? Well, that's what my weird brain wanted at this moment. It's still a little experiment to me to what colors work well together on the ink, which is by the way water soluble and is wetted when the paint when you paint over it. Layering on the gouache can be tricky, as it too rewets when painted over, but it's also something that allows easy blending of colors. Acrylic paint or acrylic gouache would probably be easier to handle. I hope you don't mind sharing this experiment and future ones with you. There are so many things that I want to try using gouache and watercolor. Currently, currently I enjoy using gouache on wood a lot, as well as watercolor in combination with inks. A video on that will be coming soon too. But first, I plan to finally end the mini series on schmink and liquid charcoal. Reviews and other videos are planned too. Right now, I can promise only. I can't promise any upload dates, but I try and I'm working on updates for the database too. Just recently I've added the complete range of core colors on the Sun and Colors watercolor database. The light fasteners will be tested soon and the results available next winter. I'm pretty curious about those, but so far it looks promising. There was some news in my personal life too. Nothing major though. Right now I'm glad that I got to editing this video and be back. Big thanks to everyone who's watching and a big welcome to new viewers. Feel free to ask anything you're curious about in the comments and start wonderful discussions about art. I love reading suggestions and sharing my knowledge with you all. For the rest of the video I'll have some music for you, so enjoy the process. Have a wonderful day, everyone. I hope to see you soon. Bye!